Doing good, thank you. Awesome. Um, so my question is, obviously there's been a lot of turnover, a lot of additions added to the roster, particularly a few pretty strong vets. Um, what are your thoughts on this revamped roster and the potential it could have? Uh, really big potential. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, we've had on, on our mind that next year we want to be better, hopefully uh, uh, get to the playoffs. And um, this addition is definitely going to help to it. Um, we, need, uh, we need vets like, like them that, 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 that have uh, experience uh, into this league. So uh, it's, uh, it's really exciting, and uh, I'm, I'm the first one excited about it. Next, from Chris Karshner. All right, we will move on to uh, Christos from Greece. Hello, Clint, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I would like to ask you how excited you are to collaborate with uh, players like uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic, uh, Danilo Gallinari, and also Raisin Rondo. And what do you expect to learn from them next season? Obviously, uh, I mean, uh, Rondo, uh, I mean, five star point guard, uh, been playing in the league for years. I've been watching him uh, way before I uh, even really dre uh, dreamed about the NBA. So he's definitely gonna gonna bring his his knowledge about the game. Uh, Gallinari, obviously, a uh, uh, really great scorer, player, uh, been around the league, and and uh, yeah, it's gonna be definitely be uh, being able to to bring to this team. And uh, Bogdanovic, uh, uh, definitely one of the best shooter that I've that I've known. And uh, I just I just can't wait to to learn and and play and be around these guys and and get a lot of wins. And doing and a quick follow up. How far from uh, the playoff from a fl uh, from a playoff spot? Excuse me. Right Excuse me. How far from a play uh, playoff spot you are right now? Uh, we team. haven't started yet, so we're gonna have a better idea whenever we start playing. Uh, so uh, we we can't wait to to, to start uh, tomorrow and uh, and uh, get ready and start the game. So we're gonna have being able to have a better picture on what our, our goals are. Thank you. Now we'll go to Chris Kirshner. Um, How are you feeling health-wise? Are there any lingering effects with your heel? Do you still feel any sort of pain when you're running up and down the floor and, and jumping? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, I'm feeling good. Feeling good and uh, ready to go. Steve Hummer from the AJC. Yeah, I was just wondering about your – what are your uh, – what were your impressions of Rajon as an opponent when you had to play against him? They had some pretty mm -hmm. heated moments with Houston. What, uh, uh, I mean, what, what was your impression of the man? Yeah, I remember played him uh, my first playoff game back in 2015, whenever it was with Dallas. Uh, even, I mean, after the Lakers or Chicago. Uh, I mean, I mean he's, he's, a, he's, he's a stud about the game. Uh, he's just that, that kind of point guard that just might throw a play because he know he knows exactly uh, where the help is or uh, how the help how the help is gonna is gonna is gonna come up, and uh, he's that kind of guy. Uh, that kind of players are really special. They study about yeah, the games. They they watch games all day, every day, uh, every day at practice. You you learn you learn something new about about the game because of them. And uh, I just I just can't wait to to get it started with him. Thank you. Back to Sarah. Clint, um, when you look at this roster, obviously it looks like this team is going to be much better just shooting wise. Um, but also, defense, uh, team defense was something you guys needed to improve on um, big time. Now that you'll be able to play, now that you've added guys like Chris Dunn, maybe with DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish getting a little bit older, um, how, much of a, how much improvement do you think this team can make on defense? I'll definitely be um, being able to uh, to focus more on defense all game long, uh, more consistent on games, not just decide which game, not pick on games that we want to defend. Uh, it really has to become an identity for us, and uh, it will definitely help us to to, to get way further, uh, way further that we want we want to be. 
um, and have guys like that, um, a guy like me, uh, that definitely going to bring that that voice and that communication on defense and uh, and keep everybody uh, everybody accountable on on, on that end on, uh, on that end. Yeah. We'll go to Nia from Crush. Hi, Clint. Um, so when you first got to Atlanta, of course, um, when you were traded in February, uh, you were recovering from an injury. So now we get to see you pretty much in full throttle. What are you looking for uh, most from you and for the new team and the young core? I get our chemistry together, uh, go out there, practice hard, get a couple of practices uh, down and back, uh, get to know each other, have that chemistry going and get it started. Um, uh, get wins, really have that chemistry offensive and defensively, waiting on me to, to, to be that anchor defensively, be that motor offensively with, with, uh, by running the floor, setting screens, and uh, be as good as good as I, as I can uh, and as it was, rebounding the ball. And um, I really hope that we, we can be good. Great. Thank you. And I just wanted to ask you also, um, how have you been, a, been able to gel now, um, now that you're physically practicing and being able to uh, get that chemistry going with your team? What do you mean by gel? Like, Gelling, like meaning the chemistry um, on and off the court. And yeah, I mean, yeah. So we haven't really had the chance with the new guy. So it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, again, different. But for my part, uh, I've been feeling pretty good. Uh, uh, I, I mean, my body feel good. So... Uh, I just can't wait to, to get it started. Thank you. Sarah? I remember a while back and you mentioned you wanted to bring a, a winning mindset to this team to, at that time, a, a very young team of guys who hadn't really won in the NBA, much less at a high level. Now that there are other veterans on the team, guys like, Nando, guys like Gala, who, who have won in the NBA, do you think that'll help that winning mindset translate to, to this team overall, to the young guys and overall? Definitely, by bringing that uh, consistency uh, on uh, uh, day in and day out, uh, by doing the right things, take care of your body, or or uh, know the, the, the tendencies of, of tendencies of other players of the team and be focused on every game. Uh, it's not because we just want a big game that the next game we're just going to we're just going to chill. Like every single game is going to be really important for us. And uh, uh, it definitely the, the guys that, that just add up to the group are going to help to bring that mentality. Jamila Johnson. Hey, Clint, how are you? Hey, good. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. So the NBA has been trying to obviously grow the game globally over the past few years. And with the addition of the new players, you guys have a pretty international team. How important is that to have that international representation on it? It's huge because uh, now I know, I mean, for my part, I have some family in Europe, uh, in Africa. Uh, we have guys from Serbia, Italy. Uh, it just helps the game to, to, to grow and uh, to bring it to another level. And uh, also knowing that the NBA is doing such an uh, unbelievable job to, to bring this, that intention to another level, adding international players to the game of the NBA, it's huge. Uh, because it helps people in Europe or in Africa to feel that they also can do it. And uh, it just it just brings more fans also. Back to Chris. Um, it's been almost a year now since you've been able to compete. And I think your last game was January 29th. What's, what's it been like mentally for you to not be able to go out there and, and compete for, for such a long period of time? Yeah, not not easy. Uh, honestly, I think the yeah the hardest part is definitely being on the bench. <laughs> That's like the worst because you, you like you want to get involved, but you just do the best you can by being vocal and everything. But the, the thing that you really want is just be out there and, and and be out there grinding with the guys. So I mean, I've done it uh, for like a month uh, after I got I was hurt, but uh, and now I mean this this virus didn't help either. But uh, it was it was kind of it is kind of hard. I'm sure it was hard for every players, of course. But after to, to 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 stay to keep your body in shape, uh, do all this this workout, this this, this running, stay in condition, 
But uh, as a basketball player, like the, the best way to stay in condition is to play basketball. So the fact that uh, the game was taken away from us, which was definitely tough uh, uh, mentally and physically because you, you have to stay in shape and not the way you want to. Edwin Powell. Good afternoon, Clint. Um, okay. You spoke a little bit about um, chemistry. What does it take for a team when you have so many new bodies? What does it take for everyone to come together and be on one page? Definitely. Uh, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is sacrifices. Uh, everybody needs to know their role and everybody needs to bring, be able to and know to bring the, the best qualities to our team. And this is how we're going to get it. And this is how you build a chemistry. Uh, and uh, obviously practice is going to help. A preseason game is going to help. Uh, watching film is going to help. And, uh, and uh, just get better as a group is going to help. So we still, we're going to figure it out. And uh, that's, that's, that's the exciting part of it. Back to Sarah. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, your new your new rookie Anyeka Kongwu? Um, what are your thoughts on his his talent and potential, and and what he'll bring um, to the team, and maybe if you can help him along in any kind of way? Yeah, definitely. So I've never I've never really got a chance to to watch him, but uh, yeah, he's, I mean I love this guy. He's he's really uh, humble coming in and do his work. Uh, I can tell that he's really he's really focused and uh, he's open to learn. Uh, whenever I talk to him, he's really really uh, ready to listen, and uh, I really feel that he, he's going to learn a lot and he's going to grow. He's going to grow a lot too. Chris, um, I wanted to ask you. So obviously, as a former Rocket, last night Houston traded Westbrook. Um, what were your thoughts on the trade, and just what um, what's going on in Houston? Just what what are your thoughts on everything? Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to comment on that. Uh, I had great years in Houston, and now my head in, uh, is in Atlanta. Okay, we will go back to Christos in Greece. Linda, I would like to ask you about the, uh, the Swiss national team because you celebrate the win against Serbia. You, I, get, I learned that you text messages to, your, uh, to the players of Swiss national team. How do you feel uh, to represent the Switzerland uh, in, uh, in the NBA? Uh, it's huge for me, even if it's uh, a really, really small country in Europe. Uh, I was born and raised there, so uh, it just means a lot to me. Uh, I've been proposed... To, to change my passport to, to be French whenever I was younger. Uh, and I really, I always refused because uh, uh, all I got and everything I've learned in my life beyond basketball is from, is from there. So it's just, it, it's just really important for me to, to, to represent my country here in the United States. And, uh, and that victory against Serbia was just so huge that probably one of the, the one of the best victory of our national team. So I was so happy that I had to share it with the guys and I, I got to call them on FaceTime in the locker room after the game. And it, it's, it's the country, you know, you, you can't explain it. You just, you just love it. Thank you. Got just a couple more uh, back to Nia. Hey, Colt. So um, with, you know, COVID happening and things of that sort, Everything is just, of course, different. So what have you been doing outside of when you guys meet for practice or if you guys meet on Zoom um, to make sure that you have that relationship built with all of your teammates? And of course, yeah, definitely. Uh, during COVID, it was a lot of Zoom. Uh, we were doing individual work at our home. Uh, it, was, it was pretty rough, but um, I think the, the, uh, the team did a pretty good job by, by keeping each other accountable by being on Zoom a lot. So that's what we did. And uh, it really helped us. And also we had that, uh, uh, that mini camp. They also got us together again. Uh, so it was, it was pretty good. And our final question will come from Sarah Spencer. Um, not to make you revisit the injury thing too much, um, but I know it was a little bit of a, of a tricky injury. Do you anticipate mm -hmm. there being do you anticipate there being any limitations on you with it when the season starts or no? No, as far as today, I feel good. Uh, never, it really didn't bother me. Uh, 
because last time I played was really in January, we in December. So uh, I really, uh, today I feel fully healed. Um, one quick follow-up. That's got to be a good feeling for, for games to finally be nearing and you're finally going to kind of be unleashed after so long of not being able to play. Um, yeah. What are the emotions like? How excited are you? Yeah, it almost feels like, I don't know, I haven't went to work in forever. So uh, <laughs> It's like it's 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 kind of a weird feeling because it never happened before. Like even before the NBA, it never I've never not playing basketball for 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 nine months. So it, it's kind of yeah, it's tough to explain. It's just it was such a grind to, to have to stay in shape, not knowing when it was coming back. Uh, it was supposed to come back maybe May June. Uh, it was supposed to be the thirty teams, then it was twenty two teams. And then they wanted to start the season earlier than it been. So it almost like you had to stay ready because you never really know when it was going to come back. So it had to, it kept you, it kept me on my toes uh, every, every single time. And, and that was, uh, that was really uh, challenging. And I'm so excited now to finally go back and, and do what I do. Thank you, Clint. Thank you guys. All right, Clint. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. You too. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.